Mike, I have bad news and good news. Oh, what's the news? Well, the bad news is we just sold my beloved MacFly that no. I've been flying for 40 hours, and I'm terribly sad that it's no longer in my life. But the good news is that in this pile of boxes is a new MacFly, this time with a Polini Thor 202. Uh oh, uh -oh. Yeah, that's more power. I'm actually, like dude, it. like <laughs> it's water it's cool, over bro. Guys. I've been flying the Moster 185 for the past four years, and it's a great engine, but I know it like the back of my hand. Hi. And I haven't flown any other engine besides the Adam 80, so this is something new and exciting. It's gonna be an awesome experience. You're watching the Judson Graham YouTube channel. This is an unboxing of a brand new paramotor at Backcountry PPG, the top young rising paramotor school in the nation. Backcountryppg.com for all of your paramotor training and sales needs. Roll the teaser thingy and let's get into the box. Dude, look at that dust devil, bro. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. This does feel like Christmas. I have happy right. feelings right now. It, so it's supposed to burn two liters an hour and make eight more horsepower than the Moster, which is a lot. It's out of the box. <laughs> Y'all want a MacFly shirt? A gift for three more of you. So much love from the MacFly people. Five, oh my God. They're like, we're out of packing peanuts. We're just gonna send them shirts. Five large, five medium. That's my size. I almost got concerned there. Okay, so we're at five, 10, 13, 18 shirts from MacFly. I think that this is the radiator. Radiator. That's a radiator. I've never had a paramotor with a radiator before. We ordered this with the carbon travel cage. I happen to be a fan of these because they make the torque not a thing. 140 centimeter E-props. It turns the other way, left-hand torque. But just looking at it, the bite is aggressive. Bigger prop area. This, everything's just heavy duty. This is the spark plug. Wow, they put it in a case. That's so nice, Polini. Do we do dangler? I don't know what this is. We're gonna have to find that out. Jets, it's about a good dynamic. I don't know much about tuning these liquid cool engines. This is new for me. <sighs> spars. When you order the carbon spars, it also comes with the titanium spars. So if you break one of these, you can replace it with the carbon or with the titanium. Oh God. Yeah, Trevor's gonna have a moment when he sees this. Look at that blue. Blue on blue on blue. Yeah, baby. Magpie! <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. That super sick. Well, we'll have to hang this up on the buck. Okay, got the hair in sport mode. Put the radiator on, super simple. Two bolts on the back side, and one hose clamp right here. Last night, I spent quite a bit of time with Mike putting this thing together completely. We covered the assembly of the cage of the MacFly on my first MacFly unboxing video. Same exact cage principles. Now all I have to do is put some coolant in it. So I'm gonna fill it up with coolant and then give it a start. Tonight we're taking our class up to the Great Salt Air, which is uh, the south side of the Great Salt Lake. Hopefully I'll take this thing on its first flight. But yeah, I've never put coolant in a paramotor before. Let's see how this goes. Couple liters of fuel in there, dude. Here goes nothing. She's a good girl. Okay, I'm gonna play with it. What's going on? So I just spent the past hour tuning the motor. I had to go from the 128 jet to the 126. There is still a lot of tuning that I need to do on this motor, but I do want to shout out my buddy, Brad Roper. He flies the Polinis pretty much exclusively, and he had all of the information I needed to get this thing tuned correctly. What's going on right now is because we're at altitude, we're at 4,000 feet here, it's running a little bit too rich. So 
it might not make full throttle, but this is gonna be my first test. We're out here at the Great Salt Air, Great Salt Lake with our students. I'm going up to test the air. I'm gonna take you up on the Polini. And we're gonna see how it goes. Yeah, we're doing good. A plus out here. You rate that strength the other day. Okay. Just right off the bat, it's so smooth. Like it is so, so, so much smoother. Oh my God! <laughs> Yo, dude, that thrust is bonkers. Okay, so I'm up here at the Great Salt Air, getting closer to the water so it's not thermic, on my brand new Bleed for 202 powered max fly it just feels meaty like it, it feels like it's not trying at all to cruise but my god this thing feels so mighty so it still does the max fly thing of barely torquing there is some torque, but all things considered. Oh wow. It's really stupendous. The throttle is so crisp with that float bowl. That's something I'm not used to. Okay, we have an emergency. The throttle just went right through the propeller and broke. I am landing. I think it didn't win. Ah, oh dear. I'm very, 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 very far away from where I started. There's the problem right there. It's uh, whacked that. There. Is the prop okay? Oh, the prop got a little ding, but it's okay. Yeah, so I think it just went right through there and hit the prop. I've been afraid this could happen. And yeah, we, we installed the f a longer throttle on this, thinking it would be better. Hey, so you know how we put that longer throttle on there? Yeah. Did you blow a prop up? No. We just need to put a different throttle on it. Well, all right, I got shorter throttles. It's probably a wrap around the arm kind of thing. Can you send somebody on a one wheel with a one wheel? Thanks for coming with another one wheel. Oh, we're sinking in a little bit, I see. This is like too de deep for the one wheel to go through with the motor. <sighs> okay, we're rolling again. It's so far away. All right, so I made it through the very long treacherous one wheel ride back to over by the highway. Okay, here's the thing. I don't want this to look like this is a negative thing towards MacFly because honestly this is my fault. I should have sat there and looked and made sure the throttle couldn't go through the net and that's totally on me. I think that yes, this net design allows the throttle to go through it much easier than most other paramotors. I'm going to just wrap the throttle around my arm, but it's great. Like it's really good. 
in the two minutes I, I flew it, um, it doesn't torque like crazy. Definitely feels weird to have left hand torque. I'm gonna have to get used to that. But I think the biggest thing I just noticed right off, right off the bat was the absolute smoothness. Stay tuned, here's a rock. Oh, oh it's just... Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta stop. Puppy. Howdy. So welcome back. Last time we were out here, I broke the throttle on the Polini, but I fixed it. We went to Endless Foot Drag. I flew it a little bit. Now we're back at the Great Saltaire. I'm about to fly with a bunch of friends, but right now, before everyone else goes and flies, I'm gonna take the Polini up and give you my thoughts and opinions on how I've been liking it for the first hour of flying, let's say. So far it's going good, but let's get up in the air and get a quick first impressions so we can wrap this video up. Okay, we do have speed bar now. I got my soul rev harness on here. I like this harness better. It fits me better. It fits my skinny butt better. It is noticeably heavier. It wears well, like the weight is distributed really well. So when it's on your back, it doesn't feel really bad. But like when you're um, standing up with it, you're like, oh yeah, that's more weight. <laughs> now a lot of people were worried that with the float ball carburetor, it would die when I leaned forward but it doesn't. Well, here we are flying the Fellini Zor 202. Making lots of power, my dear. I think I have about an hour on this. I threw a little bit of endless slip track, and I have to say, I love it so much so far. Now this is just a first impression. Thermic. It's incredibly smooth. It has lots of power, like a real boatload of power, which is new to me. I'm used to the most of 185. My old factory R I had on my Scout with Team Fly did have quite a bit, but this has a lot more. See, that had a 130 centimeter prop. It made about 27 horsepower. This is a 140 prop. It makes 33. Now, a lot of people are going to ask about the weight. I'll tell you about the weight. The weight is not bad. The weight is manageable if, I, if, you, if you're fit. And I think you're over 150 pounds. I probably wouldn't recommend this motor to anyone under 200 unless you really want a lot of oomph, but I didn't find the weight to be a huge problem. I find it pretty easy to launch. The other thing people go on about is, oh, you're so used to your right hand torque, what are you going to do with left hand torque? Here's what I have to say to that. Buy a Mac fly and you won't turn when you go on throttle. I was really concerned about this. I had flown the 202 one time in the past on a different frame and it was so torquey. I was like, I'll never be able to fly one of those. But the Mac fly handles it really well. That's weight shift against the torque. the torque. About the same. I can't get as much weight shift to the left because uh, I have the selfie stick. Other thing I like a lot, the smoothness of this motor. From off idle all the way to full throttle, there's no hiccup to like shaky section. It just runs buttery smooth and that's because it has a float full carburetor which has its downsides. I'll talk about it in a second. But just the, the power delivery has so much resolution and is so linear. One potential drawback. With the 202 is that you have to jet the carburetor all the time. 
it's altitude dependent. So the higher you go up, the smaller number of jet you have to put in the carburetor. With the Moster, you really don't have to do that. It just kind of works. And with this, if you have too big of a jet and it's running too rich, you won't get full throttle. And if it's running too lean, you'll blow the engine up, which is the big risk. Right now, I have a jet that's slightly too rich, so it hasn't been making absolute full power, but it's been making close. But overall, I'm gonna keep flying it. I'm probably gonna do like a 10 hour review, but I, I like it, I really do. It's, it's different, it runs better than anything I'm used to. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you back on the ground.